All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. Today, we're going to be talking about spine tilt and what you need to know about it. Stay tuned. All right, Kyle, so I've heard a lot of things about spine tilt and whether or not you should be bending forward, whether or not you should be standing really far upright. We've heard a lot of theories yeah. on it. What are your thoughts in terms of spine tilt and what do you try to do? Yeah, I think it's, imp it's important to A, have spine tilt. When we talk about spine tilt, we're talking about how much most of the time we're bending forward. Um, also, you can have some side spine tilt too, which is also really good. Um, and there needs to be a healthy combination of both there. Um, when we talk about bending forward, when we're bending forward uh, throughout our approach, when we have a lot of forward spine tilt, it allows us to sometimes create a higher backswing, thus creating more power. You see a lot of guys that have a little bit of forward spine tilt. The issue with this is that we don't wanna have too much forward spine tilt. When we start having too much forward spine tilt, what happens is if I'm here, if I get too forward, I get here and then my swing gets very steep on the way down. When we start having steep swings, it causes a lot of issues. It causes us to lose leverage, causes us to lose direction, and we just don't have the most powerful, accurate shot we can have. Yeah, get back in that uh, really bent over position and try and get your swing to come down. Let me see. Yeah, like slide over here. Yeah, there's just like the more forward you're bent over, there's just no room for your ball to get right here. Your body is too far ahead of the ball and you can't really get to that release spot very easily if you're too bent over. Yeah, when we're going, when our ball is going in the downswing, we want to try to create what is called a flat spot. We want to be as flat through this area of the swing when coming down as possible. When I get too forward, it's really hard for me to stay flat throughout the bottom of that swing. So that's one of the issues that if you get too forward in your approach, if you feel like you're losing leverage or you're not being as accurate, check your spine tilt, check your swing. Do you, you may be too steep through the downswing, which causes you to lose all that accuracy and power. Yeah, and on the opposite end of that, if you're standing too far upright, it could be really easy for you, you do get a decent flat spot when you're really upright, but it's really easy for you to hit up on the ball because everything's so stand upish and so forward that it's hard sometimes to generate the, the ball into the lane. A lot of times it gets really easy to kind of rear up and force the ball with your, with your arm and the follow through instead of just letting the ball go into the lane as it should be. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to create a lot of times some higher backswings. That's kind of the modern game uh, and it's, it's your biomechanics of your body. If you're, if I was just built, if I was throughout my approach just straight up like this, I, it's really hard for me to get my back yes. up. So that's why it is important to have some forward spine tilt, but too much can obviously be an issue. So let's throw a shot yeah, and kind of see what's going on here. So when I'm working on my spine tilt in particular, I like to think, and I do get like this because I have a higher backswing. Um, sometimes I do get a little bit too far forward. So what I try to focus on is throughout my approach, having my chest upright. You know, the direction of what your chest is facing can cause where you're, what your spine tilt is doing. So for instance, if my chest is facing the floor, that means I'm gonna be super steep. So if I feel like I'm getting too steep in my swing, I like to make sure that I feel like my chest is kind of facing upright through my entire approach. So let's throw a shot here. And you're gonna see that I have a little bit of forward spine tilt, but on this one, I'm gonna kinda of try to make sure my chest is feeling upright throughout the entire time. Ooh, they're toasty. That thing hooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it was good because I didn't lose any power or anything there, but um, you can see in that shot that I definitely have a little bit of forward spine tilt, but that's one of the shots that I'm focusing on not having too much. Yeah, it's one of those things that's a, a, a little player dependent on how much spine tilt some people use a little bit more. Like I feel like a guy like Norm has a little bit of spine tilt, but also a little backswing. So it is a little player dependent, but just like the, the generalities of being too bent over forward and then too upright can cause problems. Uh, one thing we've talked about is the consistency of your spine tilt throughout the entire approach yeah. is really what it comes down to. I mean, if you have a little bit of, uh, of spine tilt uh, and you keep that same spine tilt throughout the approach, then you're gonna have some consistencies 
with your accuracy and whatever. But if you get too bent over forward and then you deviate from that position and your body starts moving, you're gonna find it really difficult to be able to, to find consistency. And a lot of times where the movement comes from is at the release. And this is my problem. Sometimes you get to that release and your, your spine tilts good, everything's in the right position. And then you rear up at the end and your body moves and that spine tilt changes and that causes it to be really difficult uh, to, to be accurate. Yeah, when we talk about the side spine tilt, it's important to have because at the bottom of the release, we wanna have that ball directly under our head. Well, if we're standing completely straight up like this, my leg's in the way. I can't get the ball directly under my head. So it's important to have that side spine tilt. But when we're going into our, when we're going into our swing and our follow through, and you see this in the best in the world, they keep that side spine tilt completely still throughout the entire time. There's no deviation left or right or up and down. Throughout the end of the shot, they are completely still and follow through. And this is a common trait between all of the best bowlers in the all world. All of them. <laughs> so we'll try to throw another shot here. I'm definitely gonna make a little bit of adjustment. And you'll see that my spine tilt for the most part is very still throughout the release. So same thing, I'm trying not to get too forward. Very still. A little difference in shot there. A little difference in shot, I'd get lined up. It's been a minute since we threw one. But that, that is something you do really well is as you go throughout your approach and your release, your your body and most great bowlers' bodies stay very still. Their head, their body, the spine tilt stays the exact same. That is so crucial to being able to do the same thing, shot after shot after shot. Yeah, it's huge. So if you guys are out there and you're uh, you analyzing your own games and you realize you're maybe not the most accurate player or losing a little bit of power, make sure your swing's not getting too steep. You don't have too much forward spine tilt. And also make sure that your spine tilt is staying very steady throughout the release. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on spine tilt. And if you wanna see a drill that we use all the time, to help our games and improve our versatility, please click the free gift in the description. It's a seven arrows drill. It's a drill we use all the time to practice manipulating all different parts of the lane. And it's really helped our game. So check it out and we'll see you guys next time.